one of India's youngest billionaires who's given a new dimension to games like uh, cricket, kabaddi, football, turning an average game watcher to an actual stakeholder in the success of the game. And he's done it via Dream11, his fantasy gaming platform. We have with us Harsh Jain, CEO and co-founder of Dream Sports, who's also the impact person of the year. Thank you for joining us, Harsh. Thank you for having me and for honoring me with this title. Our pleasure. And you know, your journey started with uh, your company proposal being rejected 150 times. And now you have a company worth 65,000 crore. You have 200 million registered users on your platform. But when you look back, what was that one thing that really kept you going and, you know, despite facing multiple rejections? I think there is family. Um, you know, you, if you come home to, I mean, how much of a persistence, tenacity, belief, hard work, I think the one thing you've got to have is a, is an, is a family that helps support you that every time you come back home and you're like, oh, this pitch didn't go right. You know, my wife used to join me for some of the pitches. She used to wait in the parking lot in the car. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I used to go up and she used to hang out for like an hour. I used to come down and be like, it didn't, uh, you know, they said no. And she'd be like, that's fine. We'll try again. Mm -hmm. And so I think my parents, my sister, my wife, they all play an incredibly important role in not allowing me to get bogged down by the rejections because... However much you say, if you come home to someone who says, for your own good, mm -hmm. if you come home to someone who says that, you know, maybe this isn't working out, maybe you should do something else, then it eats up, eats at you at some point. And if you come home to someone who says, it's fine, mm -hmm. don't worry, try again, then it just pushes you that much more.